Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this new video series, we are going to tackle the problem of animation and rigging of our custom characters. For this, we are going to use Mixamo and Actor Core. In this video, we are going to learn how to prepare our characters for the auto riggers. Roll intro. <laughs> Okay, so what we'll see today is how to prepare our models, or character models, for auto-rigging in Mixamo and other auto-riggers. So what we need, first of all, is our model to have only one mesh. So in our case, as you can see, we have the hair and also the cloth. I have gotten rid of them because for auto-rigging they would just cause problems. And if you don't, if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and go to mesh and combine. You would select all the meshes and then combine them. And that's that. We should also have our character in typos because that's what Mixamo supports. And actor core supports some other poses like a pose or for example, scan pose. But since Mixamo requires typos, we are going to go ahead and use typos in our character. From there on, they won't uh, give problems in Mixamo or Actor Core or whatever other rigger you are going to use. Next, for the materials to be detected in Mixamo and the other auto riggers in Unreal, you need to use the material type Fong and you need to link the textures that you want. In my case, I have only linked the base color because I don't think I will need anything else. Okay, so once we have that, we need to be careful because you may have created either knowing or unknowingly color sets which present a problem when you import this in Mixamo. So if you do have color sets, please go ahead and remove them because if not, when you import the model in Mixamo, you are not going to see any textures, colors, or materials at all. So be careful because uh, some people say that um, creating a zip file with the textures and doing some weird stuff fix it. They don't uh, really know what's causing the problem. But then we can select the mesh, go ahead and export selection. And once we have that, if we choose the proper FPX settings, you are going to see that everything goes smoothly. So first of all, we need to select, let me resize so we can see properly the names. We need to select um, the proper options. So embed media, also include texture info. And with those two options, you are going to see that textures and materials um, appear properly in Mixamo. So next, we can go ahead and choose the file type. So we want binary. And the FBX version, some people say that you need 2013. I don't think it's necessary. I have tested FBX 2020 and it works properly. So just forget about that and use the latest version. With these settings, you are going to see that things should be okay. Uh, we don't need zip files with the textures or anything at all. Just choose where you want to export the model and go ahead and name it, whatever you want. Click export selection and you're going to see that the model is going to have the textures already included in the file. So you don't need to compress anything or do anything at all. And with that, you will have the FBX file ready for importing in Mixamo. As you can see, this was a short video, but it is really important because if we don't prepare our characters properly, Mixamo and Actor Core will have trouble with textures and processing our characters. So do not disregard it because of being short. If you liked the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And if you want to keep on learning, about auto rigging for Unreal Engine. We'll see each other in the next videos.